I want to specialize in creating quality music, you know, and giving myself time to develop it as an artist and not rush, you know, be anxious for nothing. And um, I'm always constantly creating music. So I'm not going to not create music because I don't. That's just something that I do daily and that we do as a team. And it keeps us thriving. Um, but uh, I don't. I don't get caught up in the politics of it all. I, I just try to create the music for the people, you know, to give them a different perspective on life, um, to motivate and inspire and encourage them, and uh, to be their choice of drug. That's what I want my music to be. And that's what I focus on and however long that takes for it to happen. I've been very blessed to have a label that is willing to wait and uh, a team that is willing to wait. So. Okay, now your album's out on the 12th of July with a stunning cover. Now, what, what does it represent to you? The cover? Yeah. Um, well, it deals with the Arc Android, and that crown is a physical crown that does exist. It's, it was built by Jesse Clarkson uh, in L.A., and, um, you know, it, it is uh, a very sacred crown. It has a lot of Egyptian influences in it, and it is the entire city of Metropolis as well, uh, combined. So there's some ancient futuristicness going on, if you will. Um, yeah, Cindy Mayweather is my muse, and uh, this story is just a story of love as well, and uh, hope and freedom. And she is an android, and I feel like I can connect with the androids because the androids represent the other, a new form of the other. And uh, there was a quote that I was inspired by in Metropolis, Fritz Lang's film. And it said the mediator between the mind and the hands is the heart, and she's the heart, and my music is the heart. It's meant to unite us, not divide us, you know, not to create um, music from just a red state or a blue state, but to create that purple state, combining those colors. It's pretty deep, pretty deep, a lot of thoughts being put into that. So um, take us through the creative process, a decision to work with the producers that you have on your album, because you've got um, Nate Wanda, Chuck Lightning, Big Boy, and Diddy. So how did that all come together? Sure. Well, creatively, only Nate Rocket Wonder and Chuck Lightning and I worked on the album. No other creatives. Roman John Arthur was, uh, he wrote the song, Rabat uh, Baya, where he, he helped conduct our orchestra, the Wonderland Arc Orchestra, and he did the overtures. But Nate and Chuck, and I have been making music together. Everything you've heard, we've done it. Um, Sean Combs is a project champion. He is uh, an endorser of the Wonderland Art Society. He's not involved creatively. And uh, you know, he's just trying to help get, take us to the next level. Um, and Big Boy wrote on Tightrope, his, his verse. Um, he's an advisor to us as well, campaign champion of the Wonderland Art Society. So it's a team effort. This is a movement. Um, you know, and, and I'm just honored to have their support and their help.